31 in Rome. We only have three days, so tomorrow, the next day, and then we leave. I haven't been vlogging much because the heat has been melting me. I get so hot and frustrated and I just don't want to do anything except shower and sleep. That's pretty much it. But we made it to Rome. It is currently, I think, like 38 degrees, 39 degrees, I'm not too sure. So we just made it to the hotel. It's so pretty. so much beautiful natural lighting. One thing that they probably don't say about here is the amount of people. It's crazy. It is so pretty. So this line here was originally how far the Colosseum came out and this that we see today is just the inner walls of the Colosseum but everything's collapsed. How crazy is that? It used to be so much bigger. So I'm currently at the Palatin Hill. I think it looks so pretty here. This has been me the whole time just fanning myself as we're walking along. So this is where all of the kings and emperors wanted to live. here in the shade. I think it's currently like 35 degrees. It is quite hot. The shade here is quite nice and they have a fountain that has like ice cold water for it. It's absolutely amazing. Lovely. How 
House of Augustus, the first Roman emperor. Just behind me used to be water, a huge octagonal fountain, right in the middle. And then it was surrounded by pink marble. It's pretty cool. That was the palace you know. This is the end of your guided tour with Lexi. <laughs> I think after this, we're just gonna go and find some food. And then we will just relax. Yum. Oh my God, I devoured that. That was so good. And I got the gnocchi. This looks pretty damn good. I didn't sleep very well last night. I never really sleep too well the first night of like hotels and stuff and my brain is just like you don't know this place you're in danger i'm like no we're not let me sleep now i am fully covered <laughs> and it's gonna be a million degrees outside not literally but it is supposed to be over 40 degrees celsius but i got myself a monster and we're off to the vatican This reminds me of one of the um, boss fights in Elden Ring. The two, I think they're called like skin gods or god skins, something like that. It's the it's the two. It's the really like chunky one and then the really thin one that you have to fight. And <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but it reminds me of like having to stand by, stand behind the pillars while fighting them to be able to beat them in Elden Ring. <laughs> This place is huge and I feel like if I walk on the right passage I won't disturb the boss fight. <laughs>
Augustine Chapel. It is so hot, I'm so sweaty. I'm ready to go home, have a cold shower, and eat some food, that's for sure. <laughs> Rome they have these fountains that you can like fill up your water bottles with or like you can drink from your hands. What is the thing called that they that they did? So from the aqueduct. Yeah, so they put in an aqueduct like so so long ago. I can't even remember how long ago. But yeah, like ancient Rome type stuff. And uh, they put in an aqueduct so everywhere here in Rome, like you can just refill your bottles. You don't have to keep buying them at like every single like little stall. Like there's a stall like further down there that's like on wheels that is selling like cold water. But all of this is super cold, super cold water and it's all drinkable and fresh, which is, I think it's really cool.